There was lots of drama on the playing fields across the NFL today, and then there was some drama in front of the microphones in Minnesota. Assurances? No. I, no, I'm, I, I'm not going to stand here like uh, Brett Favre and tell you, compassionate, I need a hug, I'm all right. Do I always get along with my coach, head coach, quarterback coach, offense coordinator? No. Um, do I always agree with the plays that are called? No. But why should that factor into me wanting to be the best player I can possibly be? You know, it occurs to us that over the last year, soap opera standards guiding light and as the world turns have at long last left the airwaves. But the NFL's top rated soap opera rolls on in Minnesota, featuring a new plot twist each week. On Friday, embattled coach Brad Childress was reportedly angrily confronted by Percy Harvin, who fancies himself a leading man, but who, according to some, had fallen under the spell of the notorious villain Randy Moss, a marquee performer who nonetheless was quickly written out of our story after apparently delivering several lines that weren't in the script. Though Moss is gone, the Vikings have perhaps the league's best running back, a monster pass rusher, and a droll, if not dramatic, head coach. Still, predictably, it all comes back to Brett Favre, a master of melodrama who apparently makes good use of a time-tested soap opera device, a spell of amnesia, as he seems, at least on occasion, able to conveniently forget that his body and his world appear to be collapsing around him. And when he receives his cue, he's still capable of delivering the kind of theatrics he summoned up today bringing down the house in another cliffhanger. So does this save the Vikings season or at three and five is it too late. Can Brett and Brad ever find happiness together. Can Favre do it again next week against the Bears. And when does his understudy Tavares Jackson ever get to play a starring role. Well the answers to those questions will have to wait till our next episode. And isn't that the point of every soap opera. <laughs>